What's up, Show Nation? Today we're going to talk about why position players should never bunt in MLB The Show 17. And to stress that fact, I'm taking the Yankees' Brett Gardner and making him the perfect bunter by boosting his speed up to 99. Let's throw him in the training mode and talk about why bunting is a no-no for positional players. But first, here's interesting data about this topic. So last season, according to MLB data, in the two most common situations for a sacrifice bunt, the expectation for scoring a run was actually greater if you let the hitter swing away rather than give on an out via the bunt. With the run out first and no outs, you had a 25% better chance of scoring a run than you did with a run out second and one out. With runners at first and second with no outs, you had a 10% better chance of scoring a run than you did with the run out second and third and one out. That is some interesting data from actual big league statistics. Trust me, in this game, it's pretty much the same thing. But let's get into these three reasons. Number one, a big league team is comprised of decent hitters. Giving up an out via a bunt with your one through eight hitters should almost never cross your mind. And as you can see, a bunt is virtually giving away an out. Brett Gardner has 99 speed and still cannot make it to first base. Giving out outs is going to add to the pitcher's confidence. Adding to the pitcher's confidence in turn will make it harder for your next batter to succeed. You want to be jumping on the pitcher when you have the chance and continue to lower that confidence down. That is going to lead to more runs. So reason number two. The sack bun is not a given play. Not only do you virtually guarantee the other team out, it is still possible to eliminate the lead runner as well as hit into a double play. And MLB to show the negatives simply outweigh the positives. And finally, number three. And MLB to show stealing is a tad bit too easy. So if moving the man to scoring position is your priority, a safer option is to try to steal the base and try to preserve outs. This will help to continue to lower the pitcher's confidence while getting the added bonus of the pitcher pitching in the press situation. This combo effect will lead to more runs and wildies while preserving outs. So there you have it. Three reasons why bunting with positional players is a terrible play in this game. Uh, it's pretty crazy Brett Gardner can't even reach first base after laying down some you know, pretty good bunts here. But um, in the big leagues, bunting is a debate. It is to be had, you know, situational. But in this game, it's uh, pretty clear. Don't bunt the positional players. So if you like this tip, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.